Hello Mac Warriors, how is it going and welcome back to another episode of Mac Warrior Online. Today it is time to play the Locust. We are in for some light Mac action today. I wanted to play the Locust 3S for a long time because uh, I haven't really and today we are going in with a bunch of short range missiles. We only have four short range missile too, so our alpha strike is 17.2, which is quite respectable. And the cool thing about this little guy is, I mean, it's a bunch of cool things. First of all, it's a Locust. It's a very fast 20 ton Mac. Secondly, we have have a cooldown reduction of 30%, we have a heat reduction of 5% and a velocity bonus of 25, which means our missiles, they fire fast, they fire often, and that means we have great DPS. On top of that, we have extra ammo capacity, so we can get away with only running two and a half tons of ammo, and we can still deal about 700 to 1000 damage with it, depending on how your aim is. And then also, we have a bit of armor, we have a 50% reduction of overheat damage, and we have a 100 meter seismic sensor range built in, which is absolutely fantastic i love that stuff and it's very very handy now as you can see i'm running an xl engine 170 on this one getting us to 148 kph however i also have one more than the minimum required heatsink so if you find yourself running out of ammo drop a heatsink get another ton of uh, ammunition and be a bit more careful with your heat management or skill accordingly um, but i wanted to have some more sustain so i was going for an extra heatsink instead of the ammo because because again, we have almost, actually, we have more than 100% bonus to our ammunition on this one. And this is perfect. Now, let's take a look at the skills here. Uh, as you can see, we are going for max cooldown, max heat gen, almost max range. So we can fire as fast, as often as possible with enough sustain to not run hard too much. And uh, yeah, this is a, just a great combination if you are a lover of DPS. We also got some velocity, so our missiles travel a bit faster. And then all of these beautiful green missile nodes. So we have even more missiles with missile rack we have tighter missile spread yeah no we are only running srm2s but still this is kind of an auto include for me i just take them whenever i'm running missiles mostly and then also high explosive for additional crit chance also i'm not going for maximum survivability here i'm having armor hardening but not skeletal density because i needed something else and that is a uh, speed tweak i just want to run as fast as possible because our optimal range is also our maximum range it's about 300 meters and we want to be able to close to the distance as fast as possible therefore speed tweak it's kind of nice to have there's also an argument for anchor torn to take these super sharp corners and turn on a dime and run away again if you need to but i feel like this is a very good mech for a sustained fight this is not necessarily a hit and runner it wants to be in the chaos of a team fight or in the flank or if you have a solo target you want to be able to be behind the enemy or in their flank and just uh try to maneuver yourself so that the enemy is not shooting you and you can shoot the enemy by the way legs don't have back armor so if you target a leg from any side it's just gonna go down eventually watch the first game you will see it in action we are going for ankles today also more seismic sensor is good so now we have a 300 meter seismic sensor range with uh, those two nodes unlocked which is absolutely fantastic and then radar deprivation to break the locks efficiently as well as a consumable extra slot here for uav and the cool shot today that is the build everybody i wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now if you have it as always don't forget to leave a rating subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and now it's time to hit the battlefield Alrighty, guys first game of the day we are playing the rubberlite oasis we are playing skirmish so let's go ahead and skirmish we are super duper fast so we can scout a little bit we can maybe harass some enemies if we are daring enough but i think what i want to do is i want to stick to the team a little bit not not too much you know uh, um, first first phase of the game i think i'm gonna actually do the scouting job and then we will we will see about it i i think so let's check it out i mean we are fast enough to disengage if it's getting too hot for us that's the good news but let's go around the foxtrot 5 area into foxtrot 6 maybe we can get behind some enemies we have 305 meters range so might as well try to get some early damage out and hopefully not get killed in the process so in we go fox 5 is here so we're gonna take the low ground approach because i don't want to get exposed by being on the high ground obviously so we might get seen there and instead we're gonna sneak upon the enemy by by doing this here oh there's a guy i saw somebody moving upstairs still oh yeah oh there is a they're going right side interesting yeah they're going right side fox six getting hit here really uh so fox seven fox six high ground check it out i will disengage from it don't think i can contest anything here let's move in an erratic pattern 
and and just try to dodge whatever is coming. So yeah, again, we're gonna wait for the team fight to unfold. I'm gonna try to figure out what they are saying there. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. We got that guy there, but may maybe he's alone. I didn't see anybody else coming that way. What do we have here? Some light max. Hmm. Some light max. So, is it time for the UAV already? That's what I wonder. Um, it's time to get out of here. That is for sure. Yeah, let's run. Let's roll. Oh boy. So, 300 meters charger. Mm, yes, snubs. I don't want to get caught by that. Okay. Okay, pop a UAV here. Want to know how many people are there? Oh, that's everybody. Okay, good to know. Good to know. We're gonna disengage. So I think I found them. <laughs> yeah, get get out of here. L leave me alone. So they are all sitting there in Echo 6. Uh, that means that we probably want to try to get high ground now. Try to make something happen there. We only lost a bit of our armor. It's not the biggest of deals. We're fine. Are we though? Wait, let's, let's go around. Maybe we can get something done there. Being in the flank. If I find an enemy here, I think I don't necessarily want to fight him. Okay, not head on, that's the thing. Urban Maker's with me, that's beautiful. I like that. What are you fighting, buddy? Hmm. Curious. I mean, there is a fight unfolding already, but... Oh, I cannot go there. Where do I go? That's the question here. Oh, hello. Uh, we should go on the, on the legs of the Waka. Oh, you got pulses, X pulses. I don't want that. Leave me alone. Okay. In we go. Here's the Waka again. I mean, we can just jump around him. Try to be in his back. Oh. Try to be in his back and then get stuck on terrain. All right. Oh, there's more. Look at the minimap. The seismic tells me that we have problems. Oh, there he is. Can we lag you? Would be fantastic. Got one. Let me get the other one. Okay. I mean, we got him in the end. So that's cool. We we actually we actually did it. That's really nice. So, um, where to go now? Oh, that's another one of those. Uh-huh. Okay, we go for legs. Today's leg day, my friends. Try to be behind him. Block him somehow. And uh, leg him, and that's one, and that's the other one. Cool shot. I'm, I'm hitting the wrong leg. I mean, I can just do that now. Okay, and we take another life. <laughs> what? All right. All right. That works. We got two kills. Basically solos, right? Let's let's go in again. There, I mean, there are some people up high still, right? So again, erratic movement. Let's try to not get hit by just moving in waves, and we found another target. Oh, beautiful. That's our target. And dead. Nope. Now. Okay. Okay. Again, erratic as much as possible. <laughs> this is crazy. We still have a little bit of ammo. Um, who's yellow or the other guys? Uh, there's a fire starter on me. Okay. I snatched that real quick. You want me? Get me. Let's see if I see if I care because I got friends as well. We're almost out of ammo. <laughs> Crazy. Should probably hit better. Uh-huh. This is fun. Okay, he's legged. And another one down. Alright. Nine and three. Looking good. Right? <laughs> okay, let's go for the assault mech. Almost down. Almost down, and he's dead. Okay. Oh my god, this mech is fun as hell. It has limited capabilities because now we are kind of running out of ammo, but holy crap, is that fun! I am in love with that. Let's go high ground. I think there's somebody still. Yeah, there's somebody there. Uh, fuck seven high ground. It's a Marauder to see. Uh, okay, let's go. Um, I mean, he might be hard already, mildly. I mean, yeah, he's dead. <laughs> we got four kills! This is a leg shredder, my friends!
all right all right let's go how much damage did we do 723 we got four killing blows with two kmdds i should play the locust more i feel <laughs> let's go over to the next one and, and see how this will go down Alrighty, guys the second game of the day we are playing the scrapyard and we have a bunch of light mix here we have a bunch of kid foxes this is a this is a three kid fox setup and the logos here on, on my end so yeah let's let's go with them i would say we have a, a championship 2023 top 12 qualifier that guy probably knows what he is doing i guess we got some flamers on the kid fox interesting so yeah let's uh, let's see what we can do as a light mech squad they are not the fastest mechs in the universe i think i'd honestly rather have a flea or something with me especially something with ecm but this guy also provides some so yeah let's scout the flank see what we can do and then and then react accordingly also i think night vision is absolutely fantastic here okay 500 meters execution also a top 12 qualifier okay the creme de la creme is here what are you running there, buddies? Little guys, huh? I don't know if that's a good idea to stick with the with the kid foxes. Uh, he's going around. He's going around and he's using his ECM on the other side of the battlefield. Hopefully we are not exposing ourselves too much. Okay, here we go. This, he's countered. His ECM is countered. Okay, pushing back. Pulling back. Moving back. We have a lot of light mix here. Oh, I'm stuck. Stuck is not good. Being stuck is really bad as a... Oh, uh, Seismic Echo 4. Echo 4, guys. Echo 4 is hot. Oh, they have a UAV as well. Do I need to... Yeah, I think I'm going to go around. See if I can find the guy. What's this? It's a commando. Stealth commando. Echo 4. Okay. I think I can take him. I need help. Echo 4. Stealth commando. Uh, I think I'm going to run. This is not my fight. Okay, okay, so Commando is gone, is he? I mean, our light mechs are still fighting something. We need to, whatever we're doing here, we need to do it fast because I, we are, we are investing five mechs into one right now. That is not okay. There's the Commando. Where is he? Ah, crap. That's a very, very good, very good uh, artillery strike. Okay, back up top. They're still fighting, right? I'm still fighting. Wait, did you get him? Not quite. We lost him, but that's okay. Let's uh, join the fight in the center again. Uh, this commando might come back at some point, but right now it's not relevant. So, um, let's go. Ah, too far away. Commando is still here, right? Yeah, he is. He is. Um, yeah, I'm gonna join the fight against the bigger targets. Let's go. Okay, pretty good. Executioner it is. You say push and push in, but that's a firing line. I'm not gonna push that firing line. No, sir. That Thunderbolt, however, is ripe for the taking. All right, let's join the fight on the other side here. What's what's fighting? Hey, stop it. Why are you missling me? There was a guy here somewhere. Yeah, there's a guy. Okay, we strike him. Too high. Okay, this is an SRM. No. This is a big no. No, thank you. You got way more firepower than I have. He is nimble. He is hard to hit. I'm going to disengage from this again in order to get something else going. Quick seismic check. Nothing here. Oh, boy. 500 meters. Let's join the fight on this flank. See what we can do here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is not great. But that executioner is side also crit, if I remember. Take him. Yeah, we got it. Okay, that's good enough. We're getting out of here. High ground. Whoop. Okay, and then around to get the executioner from here. It's a cataphract. I need the cutioner. The axi. The cutioner. Can we? Yes, we can. And now cataphract, foxtrot. In the back. Cannot run, cannot hide. Okay, we got that guy. Uh, Huntsman next. It's golf. All right. Well done, guys. Keep it up. Um, cool. So this is working. What is that? It's a thunderbolt with binaries. I can fight binaries. Okay, but there's more than the binaries. Okay, let's go around. Ah! Yeah, yeah, the missiles, they are a problem. I think they have thunderbolts. Not only as a mech, but also as missiles. 
Okay, up we go. They have a fight happening now, so we go for it. A bit too late now, huh? Miss Slings. I mean, I should have stayed in the fight. I was too afraid of going in because I was prime target with the with the missiles and I didn't like that. So in we go for the misslings. We can possibly catch him. I think we are as fast as him at the very least. Where is he going? Ah, crap. There are two enemies now. Misslings and something. Misslings is up high. I want to go for the other guy. What are you? The Viper from earlier. Oh, okay. I mean, I have the power of friendship. I don't know if... I have the power of armor, though. Yeah. As I said earlier, this guy is my death because he has so much spreading firepower that he just shoots in the general direction. And if I'm super close, some of it will hit. And as you can see, they just sweep my legs like crazy. And it was good. Okay. So anyways, we won the fight. We dealt 566 damage in our little missile locus here. And we got one killing blow with... A three kill most damage dealt even. That's pretty cool. We even got six components destroyed. And I think overall we were on the upper end of the damage score. 566 is the second best on our team. Not bad, everybody. That was it, guys. That was it for today. I hope you liked the video. And if you did, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.